Yo, what's good, my fellow hollows? It's your boy, the Holla Panther, coming at you with another amazing what if. And yes, I hope you like the new intro I just put up. And I want to get, give a quick thank you for my boy, the Crown Fiend, for making this intro. And I, I thought I watched my recent part of part three of what if Deku was Meliodas. People want to make want me to make a part four, so here it is. This is gonna be part four of what if Deku was Meliodas. So, so before I start, I will give y'all, I will give you a thank for getting me to two hundred and eighty five subscribers. I can't believe we're so close to getting three three hundred subs. I just need a few more subscribers, so. So I can do the 300 subscriber special. And I'm going to tell you the 300 subscriber special is going to be another movie. A movie what if. So be looking forward to it. Just get me up to 300 subscribers so you can get another movie what part. What if. So enough of me rambling on. So let me give you a quick recap what happened in part three of what if Deku was Meliodas. So what happened in part three that Deku woke up in prison. All my and Nezu explained everything what happened to him. Deku was spent in prison for the few di- few days when the door was being made. Deku met the rest the rest of the member class rest of class one B and got to know got to know him a little bit. Then Deku got to meet the new and and Black King told the, cl- the Class 1B that there are the new Class 1A. And the, all the Class 1A, new Class 1A members met the new Class 1B. So, and they were about, they, then they started the two weeks to train for the sports festival. So, that's it from the recap. Now, I'm going to give y'all part four of What If Deku with Meliodas. So, during the during the two weeks of training, Deku was training on his full counter, his, and his other and his other abilities. So Bakugo came over to his house, said, "Come on, like, come on, I'm going to ch- train you how to use your use your true power." Like again with that, it, it said, "Like again with that, Kancha. How many times I have to tell you I'm not this Melly oldest person you keep you keep telling you keep saying I am." I'm just Mizuku Midoriya. <sighs> How many times I have to tell you, Meliodas? You have to get your memories back. Why do you keep denying who you really are? You are me and you are. We're, we're, we were brothers in a past life. We you need to understand this. Understand this, Zuku. You need to unleash your true powers. Stop, stop holding back. Like, oh my god, how many times you gonna keep telling me this? And I'm not, I don't believe you, Bakugo. Just, just leave me alone. And Uku just walked off and continued, and continued his training. So, suddenly, in a face, what suddenly, Uku would drink, was, did, was, went to sleep. Suddenly, Zuku had a bit, had a, a strange dream. Zuku was saw the big destruction that Meliodas made during, at at in the kingdom. He said, "What? That was real? Like, why? Why am I seeing this?" Zuku said to his head. He could. He was like. He realized that was exactly how that he had another flashback. He see how Deku destroyed the building like. The USJ buildings. He said, wait. This is exactly like how I destroyed my... Oh, it was true. I did kill all the people. Suddenly. Hold on. Suddenly a man with on hair, with green eyes, with a sword, with the same dagger that Zuku had, that Zuku's mother gave him, said, oh, hey. I finally got into, got got in, got through to you. Zuku said, "Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here?" <laughs> oh, silly, 
So let me let me introduce myself. My name is Meliolis of the of the Seven Deadly Sins, and I'm your reincarnation. Wait, Izuku eyes wide like wait, what? So Kasha was right. You, I am your reincarnation. That's why you keep calling me calling me Meliolis. Like, oh, see, like my brother Zeldris is is here too. That's interesting. And yeah, your friend Baka, your friend your friend Kasha was right. I am. You are my reincarnation. So, for the next, for the next uh, few days, you, the next uh, remainder of your training, you're gonna be training with me, and learning to control your, control your assault mode, the assault mode you did against Buck, against Kachan. Like really, I, I'm gonna learn to master my assault mode. Not master, but control it. Yeah. Zuko said, "All right, when we I'm like, all right, when we get started, huh, I'm glad you asked." Suddenly, Belly only snapped his finger. So, suddenly a huge blank space, a blank, a blank field came uh, appeared. He said, "We start your training now." Belly only was doing some stretches. He said, "All right, come at me, come at me, come at me, Azuki." He said, "All right." Then he dashed towards Belly he pu tried to throw a punch at him, but Meliodas easily blocked block this, block this fist. He's like, huh? Zuko said, "What? No." I'm like, yep. Yeah. Huh. Seem like you're, you're, you're seem like you're not the, in the, the same enough level of strength as me. So this is the first thing we need sh we need to do is work on your strength. Zuko said, "All right." So during the during the main of the week, Meliodas was tra training Deku get on, and, and, and trying to get to the same level of strength that that he is. So, because so, he was in his in his mindscape, so he kept training and training. When Meliodas finally, during his, his let's say, his last... So last six weeks of training, so last, last six days of training, so he did one a week with Melio, then he's on the sixth week of his training. The sixth day of the second week, Deku was in the late, the same level of strength as Meliodas. So Meliodas said, all right, for the rest of you, you only have, you only have one week, you only got Six days left of training, so the remainder of this six day, I'm going to be teaching you how to control your assault mode. And they can say, "All right." Suddenly, Melioli went to his assault mode. He said, "All right, do." <laughs> he said, "All right, change, go to your assault mode." And Zuka said, "Um, I don't know how to." <sighs> of course, you don't. You remember that feeling you had the first time you went in that assault mode? The assault mode. He said, um, yeah, I was mad and pissed. <laughs> Melio said, exactly. Get to that same level of frustration and anger and unleash that pop and then unleash it. And Zuku said, all right. So Zuku was thinking of what, everything what happened. The sun, the mark, the black markings on his head, on his, on his forehead appeared. His eyes went to purple. Hold on. Suddenly, Azuku, Meliodas saw. Suddenly, Azuku saw Meliodas in his assault mode. Then he just remembered everything what happened. Then, boom, Azuku went to the same assault mode, but instead, of, he didn't have the dragon tattoo on his arm. <laughs> Not bad. Now, show me what you're really made of. The Meliodas char charged. Charge to Azuku, punching him straight in his face. Zuku managed to, to block it, block it, but he got pushed back several several meters up in the in the in the training area. Zuku spit out some blood and charged at Meliodas, punching him dead square in his face. But Meliodas didn't move an inch. He said, huh, "That's all you got. How are you gonna be strong? Become the strong? How are you gonna how are you gonna protect your friends?" If you weak, then he punched Meliodas, punched Zuku in his gut, causing Zuku to cough up some blood. 
he like he was weak to he was he, then he grabbed him with his grabbed him so uh, Meliodas grabbed Zuku like he grabbed Exynor like in them like in the Seven Deadly Sin anime. He said, "How the hell are you gonna you kill and protect your best friend? You allowed your best friend to get killed. How the hell are you gonna protect everyone else?" Face it, Zuku, you weak. Zuku's eyes start glowing bright a purple. And he grabbed he grabbed Meliodas' leg and threw and, flo- and threw it. At, through the and through that and through and through him. And Zuku saying, Zuku told him to shut up. Then he ran, he ran towards he ran towards Meliodas, started punching him over and over and over and over again, get even stronger and stronger. Suddenly so Meliodas started coughing up more a lot of blood, more more. More than the blood hit on Zuku's face, he started smiling sadistically. <laughs> Who's weak now? Who, he keeps going. Who's weak now, Melio? I'm the strongest. You're weak. He keep going and going. Then he grabbed him, like how he grabbed. He grabbed Melio like he uh, Melio grabbed him by his by his feet on his head, like slow. Any uh, any last words until I kill? Cause I'll take you down. I'll knock you out. Well, the other smiles at <laughs> You passed. Zeku's eyes wide say, Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean I passed? Like I said, you passed. Suddenly, Melly always reverted back to his. Back to normal and say, I can't believe you actually beat me. And Zeku gra- went back to his normal. To his base form. Said, I really beat you? I'm like, yep. You really got. You almost did lose control, but you you managed to calm yourself down. Good job, but we we still got a few a few more days of training, so we need to fully master your assault mode. So let's let's continue. As we can say, right? So during the few days later, Luca finally managed to control the assault mode for at least five to ten, five to six minutes. So, so Meliodas said, "All right, I tur- you only, that's good. You go, you know, you can, you were able to control your assault mode for five, to, five or six minutes. That's pretty good. It, pro- it's, it could be good. It's gonna be useful during the sports festival." So that'll be enough for the training. To- Training, cause you do tomorrow is the big is the sports festival. Duke said, "Yeah, you're right. It is." And wait, Meliodas, like, what is it? Uh, am I going to see you again? Like, huh, of course you are. I always did. Of course, I, I'm not going to be talking telepathically. But if you ever need me, just call. Just you know where to call. And suddenly, Meliodas put the dragon sin. The dragon, the dragon sent a wrath tattoo on his arm, on the same arm as Meliodas did. He said, you earned this. Because you still have the, you still have all this power in you. And you can't control it yet. So, this, this suits, this is what my friend, Meliodas, suddenly the mark of Meliodas' arm disappears. said, I'm already, already, I already controlled my sin. A long time ago. Now it's your turn to troll your sin. You are the next sin of wrath, Zuku. I wish you, I wish you, I wish you luck, and I, I hope you learn to control your, control your, control your sin like I have. And Zuku said, "So how can I control my sin?" And Melio smiled and said, huh, "Yes, you need to find the right woman, the right woman to protect." That's how I have. That's what I, that's what I did. She's like, oh, you did? Who was she? <laughs> she? He smiled and said, oh, it was Elizabeth. She was part of the God's race, and I was, of course, I'm the, part of the de- the, de- the demon race. We, we felt it was a preventing it was a preventing love, but we felt we did we fell in love with each other. 
and we were in the endless curse. I, I was immortal, can't, I never can die, and she was soon to die, it was always being reincarnated. And finally, with the help of my to the other sins, we made we managed to we managed to lift the curse. So you <laughs> I see and one more thing I see you got you you developed my pervertedness. <laughs> That's a that's a score. <laughs> like, don't do anything I could do, I, that I would do. <laughs> All right, Azuki, see you around. Lomeliotis gave him a thumbs up and walked off. He says, "I, I need to get back to Elizabeth <laughs> and the others." <laughs> see ya. Suddenly, he va Meliodas vanished. The Azuki woke up. It, it was already morning, the day of the sports festival. All right, today's the day. It's how to show what, what I'm made of. It's up, well, the day of the sports festival came, began. So President Mike was introducing, was introducing Class One A and Class One B in, in the business course, and 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 general studies in the support course to the ring. And suddenly, the, the, then the, then the the radar superhero Midnight was called out for for Baka Gokoski because she was the, the the student representative uh, student representative of the first years. So Bakugo came to the arena, said said, "Only thing I have to tell you, I'm going to win." Then he walked down the podium. Everybody was booing at him. It, and said, oh, of course you're going to say that. So, suddenly Jinko was gripping his, said, all right, it's time to show these guys who, who we really, who I'm really made of. Is this going to be for, for you, Aizawa? You, it's going to be for you, Varisa Head. Ball in his fist. Austin, Austin already saw how how pumped Jinko was, but she was worried about him, cause she didn't. He got he, cause his he got a path of vent. He had he, he sees it in his eye. He got vengeance in his eye. He worried. She is worried about her friend going down that path. So. So was. Tokiko and and you see and you you see you see it's like great I hope he owns you see the great Jinko had that look in his eye so yeah I worry about him yeah I will keep an eye on him and suddenly I, midnight spin the wheel saying. The first challenge is going to be, hey, boom! It said it's going to be the it's going to be a going to be a race. So everybody was all all in the all in the in the in the in the starting line. At midnight said, "Ready and go!" Everybody was squishing everyone in to the starting line. Deku said, "Pop." He snapped his fingers like, ah. Then he, Deku jumped up in the sky, deployed his black wings, and he flew, flew through, towards, flew, flew toward, flew, flew through the uh, the whole raid, giving him the, giving him first place. Like, anybody say, whoa, I, I, as I was, the president might say, whoa, I didn't know Zuku Midoriya could fly. Uh, but I can say, huh, of course. I was I was surprised too. He did. He has been training hard. He's been doing a lot of meditation too. Probably control his. Probably control his quirk. 
Hmm. That is pretty interesting, my, Black it, my man. Black, Black King, my man. <laughs> Suddenly, Bongo said, huh, <laughs> that was, so that's how, that's how you want to play. So, Bongo also employed his Black Wing and flew, and, and, and fly, it flew toward, through the, the race, then he get him to second place. The, everybody say, what, what? So they can fly? How'd that expect? Suddenly, so Austin Rose finally slipped through the crowd with our water, with our water quirk. Then she, and she continued running. She, she continued running towards, to, through the race. Races. Finally, Shinzo, Shinzo went to his to his rage, raging his his rage for and roared at after the uh, at the other got everyone backed up and he started running toward towards the little started running out there. That everyone else was starting to continue running in the race. After a while, the third place the person who got the third place spot was was the third place spot was Jin because he could all he also can fly with his quirk with his quirk. The fourth place was was given to. To Jinko, fifth place was given to Sesu Soka Suko Suko, and etc. etc. Suddenly, Midnight playing the second battle was the cavalry battle. Was the cavalry battle? So she explained what the cavalry battle was and told that the person with the first place headband was. Point were worth one billion points, ten billion points. Everybody in the, everyone in the, in the, in the all the contestants in the U.S. Sports Festival festival gave Deku a, a killer, t a killer intent glare. Suddenly Deku just closed his eye. His mark came and he gave him, they he gave them the same glare, but it was more stronger than theirs. All of their combined. Bakuzo, he finally using his about time he used his true powers. Suddenly, Bakugo just you activated his mark, his demonic power, and she gave him Deku the thing glare. Both Bakugo and Deku get both declaring war on each other. Seeing who was the best, who was the best in Class One A. Everyone, both President Mike, President Mike was saying, "Whoa, I can see the tense rivalry on these two. What do you think, Black King? <laughs> You're right. They do have a, a a strong rivalry. I want to see how far their rivalry can can." He said, huh, I want to see how far this rivalry can grow, can go. So, so for the cavalry bout, Deku will try and find some teammates so he can he can work with. No one wanted to team up with him because his back because that what happened in the USJ. So let me for so for Jenko team it was Jenko. You see, and in Tokyo, Tokyo Co. And the last member of his team was was you, your, were Yuri and Yuri for one team. For so for. For Seiko, for Sako, it was him, Kimmy, 
Shinzu, Shinzu, and Ata for another team, and you could, and for the like for the rest of one you can use it, use your imagination, and but for Deku, but for Deku's team, Deku was still looking for teammates, but for Bakugo he had Kendo, Tetsu Tetsu. No, Crash he had he had Ibarra, Tetsu Tetsu, and Yeah, and Kendo the Bakugo team. For Zuku, Zuku still looking for teams. Suddenly a girl with blue, the same girl with blue hair that offended him. He said, Oh hey, Oh hey Zuku. Hey Zuku. Look. Zuku said, Oh, Austin. Austin Rosen, right? Yes, you're coming, Austin. So Austin, yeah, what's up? It seems like you don't have a teammate. Maybe I should. Can I? May I join you? Join your team? I'm like, oh. look at I was like, wait, you want to join? You want? You want to team up with me? Austin nodded her head and said, Yeah, of course. Luke said, Oh, so what's your quirk? So Austin said, Oh, it's called Water Body. It also explains the. I, I able to transform my my whole body into water, which allows me to avoid physical attacks. She and I can also create create and control water to you in different ways, such as forming waves and trapping trapping people, trap trapping opponents into a water prison. So that's basically what my quirk can do. Luke said, wow, that's amazing. That, that's amazing. Okay, I, we could definitely use you. Use, use you. To keep, to keep my, try to do our best to keep the 100, 100, the 100, the 10 billion point headband away for the, away for the others. So, Deku had Austin Rose in there. Too. Yes, mom. So, Zook, both Vazuka and Austin were still looking for two marks. Two more people to join their, their team. <sighs> Suddenly, the same girl that Luke followed her breast at came towards them and said, "Oh, hello." And Luke said, "Oh," he said, "Oh, ka ka Kajimi, Kajimi, right?" Oh yeah, oh you remember my name. So Zeku was following our breath like, so what you want? She she was about to slap Zeku like she saw you slap Deku like she what she like ah she's shaking her hand like what the hell you made of? Like, just sh just showed her like I've been training these last two weeks. Like I can see. So I got I, I got a question to ask you. Deku said, Oh, what is it? Like, can I join your team? Like um, you want you want to join our team? Yeah. Okay, Deku said, "All right, what's your quirk?" Oh, she said, "Catholic Catholic trans transportation." Deku tilted his his head like, "Huh?" And she's playing a quirk, so I can tra I could trans I could trans teleport you. UVA mirrors and make and reflects surfaces, and I can also trap people and st stuff in stuff stuff inside them. So you so you can flex. So it's a mirror just to flex and store stuff in there. She said, "Yeah, pretty much." Not. But Austin, both Austin and Look looked at it and just walked away like, hey, wait. Um, I'm, we good. <sighs> and she goes, hey, oh, you want to go? All right. Suddenly a girl with long, with long black hair with yellow eyes said, oh, hello. Uh, don't you, like, wanna can I join your team? Like, what you... Um, Aki, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. 
I'm glad you remember my name. So, what's your quirk called? Oh, my quirk called Steel. Lucas says, Steel? What'd that do? Oh, my quirk gave me an ability to... To... Puzzle... Produce one's quirk and touch the person making them... Making their regular, the original quirk use their quirk list for a certain amount of time. Like, <laughs> wow, that, pretty, that quirk is pretty amazing. All right, we're, we're glad to have you on our team. Like, great. That can definitely work. So, how long can can they stay quirkless? Oh, during my trip. Doing the two weeks of training and and the training I've been doing by myself, I could do it. Could work for the matter of, of six to seven minutes. Six to seven minutes. So, oh, that'd be perfect. All right, now we just need to find one more person. So both Aki, Austin, and Zuki was looking for their last partner. Suddenly a girl, like, oh, Skylar, Skylar, right? Oh, yeah, I'm glad you, I can't believe you remember my name. So, you have, do you have, a, did anyone choose you yet? Like, oh, no. So, want to join our team? Uh -huh. she, and Skylar asks, like, what's all your, what, what's all your quirks? And. And Azuka and I was playing their quirks. And Azuka said, what's your quirk? Oh, my quirk called elastic. He's like, really? So Scar said, so my, my, I, my arms and legs are made of rubber, which allows me to stretch and form them as I please. And, 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 and Azuka said, oh, Oh, sort of like Kendall's quirk. She could, she could, she can grow her hands. Into, she could, she could make her hands bigger. Well, oh, oh, you mean he's got Kendall with class one A, right? From new class one A. So yeah, huh. yeah, I heard about her quirk. But here's the thing: I could do it. Too. I could make my hands and feet bigger. Cause my hands are absolutely. Hmm. They're pretty interesting, yeah. So, what about it? Want to join us? Uh, hmm. It's only Pony called out for Skyla and say, "Hey, want to join?" I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm very sorry, but I always have to stick with, uh, with my friends. Hope you find. Oh, hope you find your last 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 partner. Like, uh, and Zuka say, oh, "All right, thank you. Thank anyway, Skyla." And he said, great, she knows her quirks now. Suddenly a girl with bright, with black hair, with bright blonde hair came toward him like, so, you looking for your last, the last perks, last teammate, huh? Izuku said, yeah. Are you going to be in pens? We're not telling you our quirks until you, you go, if you tell your, tell, tell you, tell us your quirk. Like, oh, seems fair. So my quirk called Solar Dragon. Like Solar Dragon, yeah. She said it's a hybrid type quirk allows me to have the ability to use and control sunlight in many ways, as well as having a beast-like quarrels. I D I I D E A Dragon through. Through the amount of solar energy, she, I I demands how strong it will be. The amount of solar energy sh I have is shown on the bottom of my hair. So she showed. So she waved her flat, whipped her hair out to see the, all the solar energy in there. So you could my beast like. So you could change. Yeah, this is having a beast like. Quack. 
a claw. So you could have, so you could ch literally change yourself into a solar dragon. But yeah, pretty much. So what's your? And they explain their quirks. Say, huh? It probably won't work with my quirk. I'm so sorry about that. Like, ah, great. Who else we? we can choose. Well, he said, fuck. He went to the girl with with the pink and white, pink, white, and black hair. He said, hey, do you have a partner? Like, no. Oh, no, no, not pretty, no. So, what you, uh, so, want to join us? Like, hmm, depends. Uh, let me tell you my quirk first. So, her, my quirk is called Panther. They're like, so, it's like, so, so, Zach said, oh, let me get, you could change to a pant, to a big pant. You could transform to a panther, huh? <laughs> she smiled and said, "Yeah, I do have the ability to change, to change the shape ship, partial or fully into a panther and back into my to my human self. That's basically what my quirk can do. So, so you got so you're telling us, so if you want, so you could have panther, panther claws." And the panther and the panther bite, and basically that's it. You could change yourself into partially a panther and fully a panther. Like, yep. He said, "It's only someone like asks for the oh mocha key, like mocha ko, like oh, there's my friend. I have to go. See ya." Anyway, ah. It's getting hard. Only a girl what suddenly you be Kagi you you be you you Kari you Kari came and say, Oh hi. You guys are looking for a team for a team last team member? Like, yeah. Oh. Let me play my quirk is called crystallization. My quirks allow me to create or form a a moving crystal in in various shapes and sizes by either touching the ground or forcing on the place where she I want I uh, once and my crystals t to appear so my crystals want uh, my crystals t to appear so so you could uh, hmm, that's it. so that could but only thing that but you need, wait, can you use your, so only your hand, so it's your quirk only good for your hand? If and you touch like your hand, if you touch your hands, the crystals will form, or you, you, you can also use it on your feet. That, so, oh, I can use both, I can use my hand and my feet. So, 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 so you make, you, 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 can you please join up, be our last member of our team? She's think, you put her hands on her cheeks, then, hmm, her chin saying, hmm, I don't know. So, <laughs> what the heck, I'm in. It, finally, Deku and them finally got their full, their full team, and the tally battle began. So, Deku was the writer. And uh, Deku was the horse. Yuki, Yaki was the rider. Was 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 the rider. Austin was on on the left on the right side, and and Yukari was on the left. And the time we well, again, people, everyone was trying to. Aim at Zuku's team to get to the million point the million point headband. Suddenly you you probably just stomped her feet. 
and suddenly a huge, big, a huge crystal wall came right in front of them. Everybody said, "What?" <laughs> said Izuku said, "Nice, <laughs> nice going, Yukari." He's like Yukari said, "Thanks, <laughs> thanks." <you." laughs> then he started moving off. Suddenly, suddenly, uh, Rosie was throwing, was throwing mad water projectiles, water project, mad water on the, using a water waste to splash their opponent out, out of the ground, off, in the, out of the way. Leap. Then Yukari, then Yukari used her her crystallization to. To block them out, out of their way. Suddenly, a, a team was about to charge and gra to use their quirk on 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 Akam, Akari, Akari, Akari. The car just touched touch the per touched the person. Suddenly the quirk stopped working. Like what happened to my quirk? <laughs> Sorry, it's all you want. Suddenly she just grabbed grabbed the the guy's headband and put it around her neck. Saying, "Better luck next time." The other the, and Azuku and, his, and their team started running. Started keep, kept kept moving on and trying to evade everybody's attacks. Suddenly, like Pony's team are ch chasing after Zuku. Suddenly, Skylar was, used her stretchy quirk to t try to t grab, grab Deku and them a million point headband. Suddenly, Asakur, Aki, Aki, dodges and touch and touch Skylar's arm. Suddenly, her arm went sh 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 straight back in her arm. So, like, what? What? Happened? My quirk gone. Better luck next time. <laughs> you start running off. They continue running. So then Jenko said, "Come on, come on, come on." Jenko went to his team like, "Come on, team, we have to keep going." So then Shinzo, Shin, Jenko team start charging at at Deku's team. Well, so you. <laughs> And Shinko, and Jinko said, "You, your headband's my, your headband's my, my Midoriya." So he his hand was filling up with gas, with poison. Like, what? He said, "Wait, what?" Arthur Rosen looked at Deku. Jinko quirk is po called poison. He can poison. You. Be careful. What? Don't let the poison hit you. Look at it right. Suddenly, Sok Sako and his team came charging at Zuki. Suddenly, Sako threw threw a spike at, at Zuki at Zuku team, but but Aka Curry Aka Curry Yukari Yukari block. You step her feet on the ground, made a made a crystallized crystallized wall to block to block the sp the spot to block the spike. So after a while, the the, the time was up, and Deku's team still had the mil the million the one uh, ten million ten billion points, giving them first place. Jinko team, Bako's team still was in second. Sako's team was in third. Jinko's team was fourth. And of course, Shinzo's team was in fifth. They did the they did a little side games and stuff. And the top the, now for the the one on one fight, so it's gonna be we we'll make it. We're gonna make it. I'm gonna make this interesting. So we're gonna be Deku and 
Hmm. That could hit who? Who should Deku fight first? Hmm. Oh, good. Uh, got one. So it's gonna be Deku versus Sako in the first round. Round two gonna be. Hmm. Round two gonna be Austin Rosen versus. Austin Rosen versus. Hmm, who should be the play? Versus. Kag Kagami. Third round gonna be. Yuki Yuki versus. The Yuki versus versus Kimmy. Fourth round gonna be Yukari versus let's see, let's see, Yukari versus <coughs> So it's gonna be Yukari versus <sighs> Versus uh, Laura. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's gonna be Shinzo versus Tetsu Tetsu. <sighs> gonna be Yaki versus. <sighs> Mm. Mm. Versus <clears throat> Yaki, oh, Yaki. Versus I'm not, 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 I'm Versus Kenda. Okay. Ugh. I apologize. I had something stuck in my throat. So I'm good now. So we, I'm going to repeat what I just said. So I said you, it's going to be Aki. Aki versus Kendo. Shinzo versus you see me, you see me, and yeah, you you see me, and Bakugo versus. Bakugo versus Oh Yo Bakugo versus Jinko. So that are the teams. That gonna be who be fighting who. So the first match begin it's gonna be De gonna be Deku versus versus Sako. So both present my introduce both with it to do Sako and with Zuku Midoriya, but Zuku Midoriya was 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 in delay because Zuku was about to walk towards his mat. 
afterwards in the match, suddenly the Flame Hero Endeavor came, grabbed him by the collar. The collar slammed it against the wall, said, it, it said hey, get, let me go. And, and the Endeavor said, how dare you, how, how the hell are you still here? Because of you, you my, my shot. My my Shoto is de- my Shoto is dead. How? Why are you still alive? And my and my son is dead. My son is dead because of you, and you still here, trying to be a hero. Who so, was trying to get a devil off of him? He said, "I'm sorry. What happened to?" To show for Todoroki, and they were slam Azuku back, slam him again on the wall. And said, "Don't you, don't you dare say his name. You don't have, you don't deserve to say his name." Azuku then pain and like suddenly Jenny M saw what Endeavor was doing to Azuku. Jenny ran to her, ran to his, to Endeavor. Said, "Endeavor, what's, what's the meaning of this?" And Endeavor said, "Stay out of there, Jenny." And Jenny, I'm, he, I'm taking this villain where he posted, where he belongs. Back in prison, he he do not deserve to be here. So he not he do not deserve to be a, a hero in this school no more. And Jenny said, "You don't have to you don't have to say to say that endeavor." I I am the number two here. I could, I have I had what I I could do what I, what I say goes. And Deku threw threw Deku on the ground. Deku got up and said, "What's your problem?" I said, "I'm sorry. So are you not gonna cut it?" So Endeavor Endeavor shot a ball away with fire at. Azuki, at Azuki, suddenly Azuki gra- grabbed up, suddenly grab, gra- suddenly gra- grabs, grabbed the nearby object he could find. He said, "Full counter." He, he straight countered his flame to him straight back, go straight right back at him. But it was twenty times stronger what what it was. Called him endeavor to burn himself a bit and say that was was all red right in the face that you bastard. And he charged that on it suddenly. Suddenly Duck closed close his eyes and say, I had enough and straight punched Endeavor in his face, causing him call calling Endeavor to make a huge crater on the wall. He said, "I don't have time for this. My first, I'm in. I had the first match. So I had to get to." And, and Izuku walks towards the arena, and the devil said, "I'm not done with you." Izuku just dashed towards back to a devil with amazing speed. The devil couldn't see it, so it was a yellow blur. Suddenly, Deku just cocked his fist back and punched. Punched the devil straight in his face, knocking him out. I said, Jenny, can you ha- can you handle can you handle endeavor? So, of course. Suddenly, Azuku went back to the arena. Already still has his have the demonic mark on his forehead. Suddenly, he, suddenly he heard counting. He, he, he finally made it to the arena. He said, "All right." Uh, the mat, uh, midnight said the match between Izuku Midoriya and Sato begins. Said she waved her her whip and she said begin. Suddenly Sato threw. Suddenly Sato threw his spikes, his metal spikes at Izuku. Izuku still had a thing on his He said full counter. Suddenly all the spikes w- dashed toward. Back to, to, for Sato, Sato Budar, all the spikes said, what? You thought I could, <laughs> better luck, 
That's all you got. Suddenly, I don't charge that on and shot more spikes down. He and that constantly <laughs> saying full counter, full counter. Suddenly, Sato got got nicked by one of his his own spike. Then I had enough of you. And suddenly, Deku just punt, gut punches Sato in his gut. He, hold, he was holding fifty percent back. Then Sato was flung straight out of the arena, making a crater near the wall near the. Near the entry on his, on this side of the entrance, giving the Zuku Midoriya the the win the first round. So that, so that was easy. And he walked off. For the second match, it, it was it was Austin Rosen versus. What's that she Oh yeah, versus versus Agami. Agami said, huh? Seems like we fighting each other, huh? You should just allow me to join your team don't allow me to join your team. That's the road said, huh? We didn't need someone we didn't need you, right? Your quirk wasn't valuable for us in that moment, in that situation. Suddenly, Austin R suddenly <laughs> pulled out her mirrors, pulling out a staff, saying, "All right, it's time to make, it's time to it's time to show you what I'm really made of." She pulled out a staff. To, it's our tour, and it, it, it said, "Begin." Kakamiki, Kakamiki charged that. The Austin Rosie, then she threw, she swung her staff at her. Suddenly, her staff went straight through Austin Rose, Austin Rosen, and said, "Oh, you really thought that was gonna work against me? You, have you forgot my quirk is called water? It's called water body, and no, 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 no physical attack can harm me. Can harm me, so." Your attacks are pretty much useless against me. So she formed a huge wave, a huge water wave at Akamiki, and suddenly just trapped her in the water like bubble, and just put put the bubble out of balance, giving Austin Rose in the win. And and, and President Mike said the winner is Austin Rose for Class One B. So in the next match begin it was with Yukari versus it was Yukari versus versus Ibarra. It was gonna be an interesting match. So midnight said begin so Yukari formed a huge ice a huge crystallized wave towards Ibarra. So uh, Ibarra used her, her vine to block it, to block to to block the attack. But made another ice w at her, but she still managed to block it. Like <laughs> you can't block this forever, because she she kept crystallizing the whole field. She had nowhere to to run, so it, you caught. Or we ran straight towards. Torti Barra just pushed her, pushed her out of balance, giving Yukari the win. And Ibarra turned over, turned around like what? A law? Well, she saw all the crystallization, crisp, all the crystals around, all, all around the stadium, all around the arena. Suddenly, suddenly they just shattered. The like, oh, yeah. Why are you? Probably praying. I just formed the whole, I just covered the whole whole arena with crystals, so you could have nowhere to run. So that's that's why I got the win. <laughs> for for the third for the third round, it's gonna be Shinzo versus well, versus versus Utah. 
uh, Yuki. Yuki said, "All right, though, I'm I'm not gonna lose for you." Like, come on. <laughs> she smile and said, "Oh, are you? Sh- is that so?" It, it Shinzo start uh, talking shit about Yuki. Yuki said, "Hey, shut up! It ain't true." Suddenly, so, like, Yuki was 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 froze. Uh, You could you could go face pant, face palm her head. Say you idiot! You forgot he had the quirk to call my. You can straight answer one of his questions. You gonna be my or respond? You gonna be instantly mind controlled? And, she, and Shinzo told oh, Ak- Suki <laughs> Suki to walk walk out of balance. So Suki did that, giving Shinzo the win. Well, now for the next fight, it's going to be. Oh uh, yeah, so it's going to be Kirish no, test of test of versus Shin Shin versus Shinzo Shinzo Yamato Yamato. So, so when I say begin, then. Here she doesn't care. She Tessa Tessa went to his to his metal form, harder into his metal form, then t- dashed towards, then dashed towards Shinzi, so dashed towards Yamato, Yamato, Yamato. So start started go to his into his rage mode, then start charging neck, start charging neck. At test to test you, both of them collide fist. Yam, Yam, Yamato punch test to test in the face, and test to test and punch him in the face. Both took took the hit. Everybody say, "Whoa, what? What is Yam, Yamato's quirk?" Jinko was playing, huh? It's, Yamato so Quirk is called shark. Called, it's called Shark Body. He he can do do every everything a shark can do. That that a shark can. He has a, he's strong enough to to dig through the ground. And nobly as he swim through waters with his with his shark teeth, he can. Shoot, chomp through solid steel and strong enough to crack solid steel stone and bend solid steel. He is the primary shark like senses and smell is stronger enough to smell blood. Suddenly, Tetsu, suddenly Yamato. Crunched on Tetsu Tetsu metal on his heart on his heart and steel, cracking his, cracking it. Tetsu Tetsu eyes wide like what? How? Yamato said. Yamato said, huh. <laughs> "If because my, because my teeth is strong enough to, to bend, bend and crack, and crack steel. So you pretty much." <laughs> You are pretty much useless against me. The Yamato charged at him. Tetsu Tetsu was trying to block, but Yamato crunched on Tetsu Tetsu, stealing, 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 steel on his on his steel quirk, calling him the the crack even more. Tetsu Tetsu jumped back, and said, "Damn!" He said, "Tetsu Tetsu said, damn, I had to stay away from those teeth." Those sharp teeth, so, or he he could crack my quirk, my quirk, crack my quirk off. So Tetsu Tetsu tried try to that punch, keep punching your model in his face, or giving them side, or giving them side stomach chest punches, and keep and go he keep going back, moving back. He said, "Huh?" So he tried to stay, and your model. And Yamato said, "So he trying to stay away from my shark teeth, huh?" So Yamato, 
Say, me, if I can't go, to, if you don't come to me, I come to you. He charged that Tetsu, te, Tetsu, 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 dodge it, then punched him square in his, his mouth. But Jamal caught, caught him with his shark like teeth and crushing more of his, of his, of his, of his, iron, of his steel. He kept crunching and crunching and finally he broke through one of his, broke through his quirks. Suddenly he changed out of his steel, of his steel. Out of, out of his quirk to his to the form. Finally, Yamato straight gut punches Tetsu Tetsu out of balance, giving Yamato the win. So the next match was. Oh, I'm in back. Was Ta was Takamoko. Versus, versus Kimmy. So, so Kimmy already sharp, still her bone claw. He said, "All right, let's see what you got." So, prepared herself to fight. So he just charged at her, and when and they say begin, Kimmy just charged at Yakamoko. Suddenly, Yakamoko. Slow down time, like everybody said. What what's going on? And Jiko said, "Huh, Takamoko, Takamoko, quirk is called time manipulation. So she can use her, her quirk to allow her to slow down, slow down time with her right eye and accelerate time with her with her left eye for five seconds in a single radius, in a five five meter radius radius." Like whoa, they said, "Well, that's a strong quirk." <laughs> those, those. So all, all she see was Kimmy was running in slow motion. Suddenly she accelerate back, accelerate the speed up till she ran. She and Kyoko went to turn her body to the left. She ran through. Ran out of balance, giving Kyoko the the win. She said, and Kimmy said, "Dang it!" Jiko, Jiko was Sako was upset, but she he was proud of how she was. She understood how who he, she was again was wasn't unfair. Now the next match was Aki versus Kendo. So both Aki was already I mean I said begin. Then the Kendo used use her big big fist to try to punch Aki. Aki dodged and touched her touched her big fist. Finally her big fist went back to normal. She said, What what happened to my quirk? Like Oh Oh, I just I just deactivated it. What? What's your quirk? <laughs> oh, my quirk's called steel. So I basically, so she said, my, so my quirk gives me the ability to produce one's quirk at, at by touching it. The person makes the, the person's the person making the original user quirkless for a certain amount of time. So for six to, to six to seven minutes, you you are quirkless. Kelly said, "Wait, what?" So, Aki, so Aki R's towards her, started punch her, try to start fighting with her. Kendall, Kendall was fighting back, but her her fight style combined with her karate and her big fist stop and, and with her quirk. So Kendall tried to karate chop Aki's neck, but she straight kick kicks Kendall's leg, Kendall's arm. Out of the air, that she straight kicked Kendall in the stomach, causing him to, to fall, to move a few feet back, almost hitting out of balance. So, Aki was about to push, kick Kendall out of balance. Kendall did a side step to the left. Aki stopped herself, getting out of balance. So, 
So she just sweep kicked her. They spent well, sweep her legs and pushed the kicked her out of balance, giving Aki the win. So for the then for the final match it's it Jinko versus Bakugo. So Bakugo was already warmed up. He said, Alright, what's Bakugo said, Alright. I need to win this to face Zuku. Zuku in the finals. So Zuku so Zuku was just stretching it so he said, So my opponent is the Jinko fellow. Only Jinko came out, came out of the arena. And said, "All right, let me get this. Up. Let's get this over with." Man, I got I had some. I need to get to the finals so I can face face that Midoriya kid to honor Aizawa's to honor that Victor Aizawa to honor a racer head. And he extended his hand, it's nothing, and nothing, but a purple, a purple, a purple mist started forming around his hand. And then I said, "Begin." So, Jinko swiped his hand, forming a, a purple, a big purple gash towards Bakugo, covering Bakugo in poison. And Bakugo said, <coughs> "Coughed up, <coughs> what the hell? What the hell your quirk is?" Oh, Jinko said. Oh. Cork caught poison. I can use my poison for poisoning. I can use. I can use my. I can use my poison for poisoning, but also paralyzing people. However, if in uh, but also, but it's in for. With, with his own, with my own body, so, so, so if he, if I use it too, too long, it could, it, it could pair, if I use it too long, I can paralyze my opponent, they, they can't, they can't move, and the, so the only downside about it is the only dis disadvantage is it's po it's poison. My foes that the my foes that he can, I can kill them with it with with, with my poison. I could kill people with my poison. So that's why people think of me as a villain. So I want as I told. Showed me that I could still be a hero with my quirk. Now he's dead because of because of because of Zuku Midoriya. So I'm going to win this sports festival for as I was out to honor my my favorite hero, Eraserhead. So Jiko threw another gas at Bakugo. Bakugo got hit by his body was paralyzed. Just said, huh. see like the great. The great Bakakoski Bakugo Class 1A is, is freaking paralyzed on my quirk. So Jinko went towards Bakugo about to punch him straight in his face. Bakugo just smiled and his, his demonic mark came out and says, Huh, this human. You think you could be, you think the poison could beat me? He grabbed, he grabbed Jinko's hand then straight punched him in his face. Causing Jinko to spit out blood. He's like, really? That's all you got? Then he start punching them and punching them over and over again. Jinko keep coughing up more and more blood. Jinko said, well, "How the hell are you moving in my poison? You're supposed to be paralyzed, huh? Yeah, it does sting a bit, a little, but he forgot. I am, huh. I'm, I'm more than, I'm more than meet the eye, kid." Jinko. So Bakugo used all his all his strength to push Jinko out of balance, slamming him through through the wall, and giving him a few broken ribs, giving Bakugo the win. That to be the end of the first round. So for the second round, it's gonna be uh, Deku and.
Deku with Austin Rosen versus Austin Rosen. You Yuki versus Yuki versus versus Shinzo. So Tokamiki versus Yamato. Oh, oh, it's Yokamiki versus Bakugo. Yamato versus versus Aki. Hold on, can I get this up? I can finish. So the second match begins. So it's Azuku versus Austin Rosen. He said he Azuku wished Austin Rosen luck. And Austin Rose said, thank you. So, the fight begins. Austin Rose is trying to trap Deku in her water in her water prison. But Deku managed man to die. Deku remembered what she told him. She, so, not, no physical attack can hit, hurt her when she's in her water form. So, pretty much, pretty much. Hmm, what should I do? Man, pretty much useless to get her. So he thought, he kept thinking and thinking. Finally, Austin Rosa threw another water wave at him, try to prison her. So, Deku said, ha, I got it. He said, full counter. So her water wave went back to her, making her trap herself in her own water prison. He said, they, Deku just pushed the bubble out of balance, giving Deku the win. Suddenly, he popped the bubble. Austin, he called Austin Rosen. He said, oh, Austin, you all right? Like, oh, start blessing. Yeah, I'm fine. He did a great job. He smiled a lot. And Azuka smiled. She smiled back and said, thank you. And he poured her down. He grabbed, took her, shook her hand. So they both shook their hand. said, good the good match. So Deku went to the to the third round to the to the semifinal round. So it's so it, you Yukari versus Yukari versus. Uh, there's a Shinzo. You can't remember what Shinzo quirk was, so she didn't say a word. Shinzo tried to talk junk about Yukari, so Yukari just made a ice, made a crisp, made a crystallized wave, ice spike, ice wave, spike wave, and put and put and put Shinzo out of bounds, giving her the win. She said, huh, "Not bad." Like still to say. I already forgot Shinzo. I do know what your quirk is. Better luck next time. She went and she went out back in the, back to her class. So she so she advanced to the semifinal round against Deku. So the next fight was who was it? Oh yes. It was It was Yukika Tokiko versus 
Versus hmm, versus your coders. Ah, okay, now I remember. Yokiko versus. Where's the Aki? So, Cole try. So, she said that. And when I said begin, Cole, you try to accelerate our movement speed to try to punch Aki in the face. But Aki grabbed her. Fucking touched her. Suddenly, her quirk stopped, stopped working. Like, what? Like, Wow, you you uh, you didn't really pay you didn't pay attention to my our map the match I had before. So I can I just the I just turned off your quirks now you're quirkless. Oh, sorry about this, Tatsuko. So she pushed her out of balance, giving her the win. So now for the last match of the second for the second round is Bakugo versus Yamato. So men, I said, begin. Yo, Yamato went to his rage form and charged that Bakugo. Bakugo just gra grabbed y Yamato's mouth. Said, huh. So, huh? What said, huh? You really think you could? You really think you could stop me? He grabbed his blade. Said, ominous. He said, ominous nebula. The slash Yamato, Yamato up, calling them to saw so a bunch of scraps. Slash marks on on Yamato, calling him to pass out, giving Bakugo the win. He said, someone, someone take this guy to a recovery girl so she could pass up his wounds. So, so he kicked Yamato out of balance, and the, the, the nurse's staff grabbed you know, Yamato back. To re to get get recovered by recovery girl. I said, "All right, I only have to face Aki, this Aki girl, so, so I can face deck, so I can face deck you, huh?" All right, bring it on. So for the semifinal match, it's gonna be Deku versus Yukari and Bakugo versus Aki. So, so we first, let me do Bakugo's and Aki's fight first. So Bakugo said, all right, bring it on. Aki said, <laughs> said I'm, 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 I'm not that crazy. I forfeit. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get my ass kicked by, by Bakugo. <laughs> Because no way in hell I'm gonna win that fight. She she winked at Midoriya, said good luck. She she walked out of balance, gave him Baka go to win. Baka was pissed off, like damn it, she just gave me the win like that. Suddenly so Aki just walked toward Baka go and said, I want to test something. She touched Baka go, but that mark the mark still came on his face like. As I expected, you don't have a quirk, don't you? Some, it's something di like you have something that's way different, don't you? So, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, Baka said, huh? Do she know? I said, All right, good luck. See you. And the mark went back and faded away. Uh -huh. Strange girl. So the match between so Aki got fourth place in the in the, the what's it called uh, in the sports festival. So now just Izuku versus Yukari. Izuku said, "Wow, Yukari, I can't believe you made it to the semifinal match." But yeah, I can't believe you made it. All right, 
best best fighter wins. Like, right. <laughs> we make this interesting. The winner had to pick. He said, hmm. The winner had to take yep, the look. The the loser had to take the winner out for out to dinner, and he, and the the loser had to pay for the winner's meal. <laughs> Dickel smile said, <laughs> Dickel smile said, "You're on." Suddenly midnight said, "Begin." Suddenly, suddenly you, you Kari put put both of her hands on the ground. Suddenly a huge ice, you suddenly a huge ice wave. At deck, at Deku, Deku just grabbed the the, the plaque, the fork, he, that knife he still had, that butter knife he still had. He said, "Full counter," and the I, the crystallized wave went straight back toward Yukari, you ten times stronger. Yukari ha, had to dodge in the last second, but the the crystals cut her cut her leg a bit. <laughs> Called her to bleed a little, a little bit. Please, Zuka said, I can't, I can't go all out against her. I can't use my, 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 he said, I can't use my devil mark on her. I want to, I don't want to hurt her. So he asked her, Yukari, try to put, try to punch her. Suddenly, so Yukari, before that, a, a crystal wall, Zeku hit, hit the wall, nothing happened. Like, so. She really thinks that's gonna hold her, hold, hold me. So he then cocked with, so he cocked his fist back, shattering the, shattering the, the crystal. Suddenly so his shirt ripped, the sleeves of the sport of the gym uniform ripped off. They saw a dragon tattoo, a dragon tattoo on it. On it, everybody surprised. Say what? Like wait, sit. Like, since when Midoriya had a tattoo, Baka smiled. Said, "Huh? He had <laughs> seen like the seen like Melio. He he finally met his reincarnation. Now, now certain he, he de he's stronger now. He smiles. I can't wait to see how strong he gets. <laughs> I can't wait to fight him. So Zuku said, "All right." Ends this. Car, he said, "All right, yeah, let." She, she stepped. Huh? He was. He jumped back. He formed his black wings. Suddenly, a huge ice, a crystallized spike came up. At Deku, you're like, "Whoa, that was." He said, "That was close." He saw how long it is. He was like, "Oh, she wouldn't. She broke. She shattered the uh, the crystal. She, the crystal was tilting." Out of balance, Deku jumped off. Uh, then he, before he got out of bounds, he said, "Wow, that was that was too close." He charged. He charged that Yukari, pushed, grabbing her in midair. He said, "Oh, sorry, I have to do this to you." Oh, and you are pretty cute. Seems like you had to pay for pay for dinner, huh? Wait, Yukari said, "Wait, what?" Yukari said. Yukari said, wait, what? Then she dro he dropped Yukari. She dropped Yukari out of balance, giving Deku the win. Deku landed and said, good fight, Yukari. He's like, yeah. Oh, I think. <laughs> just thought I owe you dinner. He's like, you know, we'll just split it. We'll just split the bill. <laughs> like, really? But I lost. Like, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to split Allow, allow a beautiful girl like yourself to pay pay for my meal. She blessed you like oh thank you. So I'll see you at what's the I see you tomorrow at eight. Your car says oh of course tomorrow at eight. He said all right see you good luck good luck in your match with Bakugo like huh, of course. Suddenly so the final match begins. So Bakugo went in the arena and said, <laughs> "Finally, it's just me and you. It's time to show who, which one of us, the strongest." But uh, Deku said, "Yeah, of course." The Bakugo tossed Deku his his 
a dagger. Like, huh? Wait, you want me to use my dagger? He, and he drew all out his sword. He's like, wait, you want us to use our weapons? Wait, is it? Remember, it's not allowed. Permitted to use our weapons. And the Nether said, oh, I'll allow, I'll allow you two to use your weapons. And suddenly, Midnight said, all right. He said, begin. Suddenly, both Bakugo and Azuka dashed towards each other, clashing blade, clashing their blades together. De Bakugo said, I'm this, I'm this nebula. Suddenly, Deku said, full counter. Countering Bakugo. Countering Bakugo's attack, making it 20 times stronger, causing Bakugo to get a couple of scrapes, a few slashes on his body. Suddenly, his body was was suddenly healing. I'm like, huh? So you are healing. Well, it's time to, I'm done playing around with you, but with you, Kachan. on. Suddenly, Luke closed his eyes. Suddenly, the black marking, the black, the demonic the mark came on Deku's forehead. Open his eyes. Suddenly, his eye was purple. He said, "All right, time to." He's like, "Time to end this." He suddenly a few huge dark energy forming around Deku's fist, punching him back, straight in his in his chin, in his face, causing him to spit up blood. To, to spit out blood. They're like, huh. he opened his eyes. Like, that's all you got, Deku. That's all you got, Deku. Then he punched him straight in his face, having the same mark as. As Deku, so, <laughs> that's all you got. So they both was fighting, both hit, using, going all out, hunting each other, clashing the clashing swords with each other. Suddenly Deku said, "I had enough." Suddenly Deku went all out, went to his assault mode. He said, "All right, I was like, all right, all right, Baka, I'm done, I'm done holding back against you." Time to show you who I, my true strength is. So he decked and charged that Bakugo. Straight punched Bakugo in his face. A cough. Bit out a little more blood. He said, say, what the hell? Yeah, I managed. Thinking my train, think of the hard work of training, I managed to control this form for, six, for five or six minutes. So I got enough time to kick your ass. So Deku Trey get. Kicked Bakugo in his stomach, causing Bakugo to cough up more blood. Bakugo said, I'm not going to lose to you, Meliodas. <laughs> and he slapped. He tried to slap. That was in his arm. He said, he clasped it like, huh, too bad, Zeldris. You're going to lose. You never, you, you never was able to beat me. That Bakugo's eye wide like, you bastard. Suddenly, that dude just... Uppercut Bakugo in his chin, freaking causing the flop to shot up in the air. But Deku used his wing, his black wing, to fly up there and straight bitch slap Bakugo straight out of balance, giving Deku the win. And Deku went averted back to it, to his, to his regular self, but he was in the nude. Like everybody said, I mean, they said the winner is Mizuku Midoriya. Mizuku Midoriya. Everybody, and Midnight was blessed to see how big Deku's, Deku's big Deku's Kanda and the Kanda was. He said, "Oh, Suzuki said, oh, you want? Oh, <laughs> oh, what's up? Like, oh, like you like what you see, Mid Miss Midnight." And like Midnight was blushing, like, "Huh, I sure, I sure do. Maybe you could take that, but but wait, ride me sometime." <laughs> He's like, oh, for sure. He winked at midnight. She started blushing. Like, suddenly, throwing fruit deck with a towel. Like, man, like, man, you no fun. So he covered himself up. And said, they walked. They walked back to, back to the, and walked back. And suddenly, suddenly, your toss of fruit him a, a gym. Gym, a gym uniform said, <sighs> he said, for our sake, please put some clothes on. 
So you see Tessa Tessa grabbing a bottle of bleach, trying to bleach his eyes out, saying, my, I, I can't get that picture out of my head. Ah, ah, ah. And my mama said, that hogging all while I was grabbing the ball, I said, not hogging the bleach, test the test. Then you poured it on his eyes. Like, ah, my, it won't go away. Ah, 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 go get the, get out of my head. Get that picture out of my head. Ah. Bo Kendall and the other girls was, was, was bright ass red. Saying, oh. And Cessna said, oh, I didn't know you was packing, Izuku. I was like, oh, you know it. <laughs> Izuku was falling on Cessna's breast today. Uh, I was blushing a bit, like, uh, really? It's not the time. It ain't the right time, Izuku. She was to punch Izuku in his face. She's like, ah! She went to, he, he bumped into the Reiko. And caught him, him and Rekha fell. All you could see was nice, thump, nice, be, nice, beautiful breast on his face. Like, ooh, like I landed, I landed soft. Then he started gr gr open on Rekha. Rekha was just blushing, cr maniacally crazy. He said, um, Izuku, can you please stop? He, he, all Izuku couldn't hear because he was all smothering her. She, all you could hear was little moans coming out of Rekha. And suddenly, Kendall grabbed on Azuku and karate chopped his neck back in his neck, causing him to pass out. Like, really? Like, Rick, are you okay? Like, um, yeah, I'm fine. She in her head said, Oh my god, Deku, Azuku just groped me. <laughs> yeah, I always had a crush on him, but he. But you know, on that date with that Yuki girl, Yukari girl. Oh, probably as friends, maybe. Hope so. So, after a while, Deku got up. So, Deku, uh, and, uh, Deku Yukikari, and Bakugo were, were at the podium. And Midnight introduced, introduced the number one hero, All Might. And Deku, All Might said, Ha ha ha, I am here. And gave the third, gave gave the medals. So, the, the, oh my, said, oh young Yukari, I'm so, pr you really did well today. And make sure you, like he told, she he told she he told all my told Yukari that make sure you keep on training, and you someday you'll become a great hero. Here's your medal, and gave the medal to Yukari. Yukari and Yukari says. Yukari said, thank you, All Might. And he went to, to Bakugo and said, young Koski Bakugo, you really did show show who who the who was the strongest. But you did, you did, the match with Yamato was a little rough. You did went a little too rough on them. But, but your final match with young Midoriya was amazing. A, sight, a good sight for sore eyes. Here's your second place medal. He said, thanks. Yeah, whatever. Thanks, All Might. Then All Might looked at young Azuku Midoriya. He said, young Midoriya, I keep, I'm proud to give you this medal. You really, you really, during those two weeks of training, you really worked hard to, to use your, to develop your quirk. And control and learn how to control it. I'm very proud. I am very proud to give you this first place medal. Congratulations, young Midoriya. He put the medal into Izuku's neck. My Izuku said, start tearing up. Said, thank you, All Might. Izuku gave All Might a hug. All Might hugged Izuku back. And said, you're very welcome, young Midoriya. I'm so proud of you. Then the end of after the end of the sports festival. And that's the end of the video. I hope you like this video. Hope you like, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure to press that bell. You never miss another video. It has been your boy, the Hollow Panther. Wishing all my fellow Hollows a great day. Peace.